we're talking to a non-gamer who had uh, some experience with Connect today for the first time. Um, just say a bit about yourself first. Hi, my name's Margaret Adisanya. I'm a non-gamer, as Rob has mentioned, and I went along to the Saatchi Gallery today just to see. My expectations weren't that I was expecting anything. I just thought I'd just go along and to see what it was like. Okay, um, kind of following on for that, prior to actually playing it today, did you have any preconceived ideas about Connect? My friend at work, Majero, was very, very excited about the whole concept of playing Connect because she said it was fantastic because you don't have any hand controls and you just it's all led by your body movements, the sensitivity of your body movements. However, I was still nonplussed and I really wasn't that interested. Okay, looking at others playing it today, was it easy to understand what was happening and what they was doing in relation to the their movements and the on-screen stuff that was happening? It looked like it was easy to understand and obviously with the lady there directing you, initially it would seem that it was easy to understand. However, I think that when you get it home and you do it for yourself, as a non-gamer, I think there may be some issues with it. As when somebody was playing the dancing game today, when they was left, left to their own devices, even though they were children, but when they was left to their own devices, it was a bit tricky. They was having problems with resetting the game, the dance game. Right, I think that's probably due to the calibration of the device and the fact that the di device isn't finished just yet. So but I think there'll be an easy thing in the um, with the final product to reset when that happens. Um, so yeah. Um, once you actually began playing it, how easy was it to get into and to use it? It was really easy to get into. It was very exciting and everyone behind was clapping and cheering and it was really innovating and exciting. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I was really excited myself watching it. It's, it's really good fun and it's a form of exercise, you could say. It's good for everybody because everyone interacts, everyone gets involved. So it's not, what I like about it is it's not a singular game. You don't sit there. It's not like other games where they just, kids just sit there on their own playing this game and they're not talking to anybody. Everyone interacts together. That's the brilliant thing about it. Did you feel tired after your um, session with it? Yeah, I felt, I didn't feel tired, but I, because I, I only played it for at least five minutes today. However, I can imagine that if you're playing it in a group of friends, then you will get definitely tired. Okay, from the range of games that you saw today, from your own opinion and perspective, could you see yourself and friends playing these? I have already organised for my friends to come round to my boyfriend's house and we are going to have a gaming party. I rang my friends up straight away. As soon as I left the exhibition, I rang my friends and I said, oh my gosh, this is fantastic, new Connect game out and you have to come round and play it as soon as it comes out. So we're already having an, a Connect party, so it's going to be brilliant. Um, what games look most appealing and could you see from those um, which ones would appeal to you the most? Um, let me just remind you what you saw today. You saw Connectimals, which is with the animal that you interact with. You saw Connect Adventures, which was the rafting game where two players could play. Um, you saw the Connect Sports, which is by Rare, where you did the um, hurdles. And you saw the Dance Central game by Harmonix, which you saw me uh, boogieing away. Um, out of those games, which ones kind of appealed to you the most? To me personally, I really liked the hurdle, the, the sports games. I thought that was brilliant. And I think that's really good and you can play that at home. And I could play that alongside with my friends. And but also I really liked and I think I would really interact with the dancing game because my friends, some of my friends would just love that. It would be brilliant. It's like it's kind of like karaoke, karaoke without the music, <laughs> without the singing. So that was really good. And I can see all my friends getting involved with that. And for the children, the one with the um, tiger, that game, I can see youngsters really liking that and adults secretly. But that would be really good. So that's really good as well. And the rafting one was brilliant. So you could just play that with um, your friend. So they were all excellent games. Um, compared to more conventional games you might have seen in the past, how does Connect compare? You've kind of already said that for you it's family night. Well, t for me personally, I haven't ever... I've watched kids playing, well, teenagers playing 
Xbox and different games like that. And I've watched my boyfriend playing games and they don't interest me at all, apart from Pac-Man. Um, so really these games that I saw today, I was quite surprised that I was interested in them because I, didn't, I came along not expecting to be interested in anything. And as soon as I saw the very first game, I was like, oh, we have to get this, we have to get it. So my expectations have changed completely. And I think these games I do agree with. I'm not so sure I agree with the Xbox because they just, I think they're too violent personally. And I think they're too singular. And I don't think they get kids to interact enough. However, these games are completely different. You can play them with your teenagers, your teenage children. You can play them with your young children. And you can play them with your adult friends. So everyone can interact. That's a good point. Um, so it's more inclusive gaming rather than the lone person sitting there staring at the screen and um, just being zoning out and giving grunts every time you ask them a question. Um, so, yeah. Um, well, you've already said so, but will you be telling your friends about the experiences you've had with Connect today? I've already told my friends. <laughs> and they can't wait for it to come out, but they've got to wait. Well, it's coming out in November. Um, again, on the same kind of level... Did you come away positive after playing and perhaps be interested in purchasing? I would definitely be interested in purchasing. Um, I'm not sure how much. They didn't say how much they were going to cost, but I would definitely be interested in purchasing. And the reason why I think the games are really good as well, and it comes out in November at a time where we've just, we're going through the summer now. So at, the ti at this present moment in time, everyone can go out, they can go to the park and they can run, they can jog, they can cycle. However, in the winter time, when it's dark at night and you're all sitting at home with nothing to do or only television to watch, these are good games. You can have, a good, you can have good fun and you can actually have connect parties and invite all your friends around. Um, if you would, would be purchasing, what would be a deciding factor for you to purchase Connect, and what would be your main reason for doing so? You've kind of said reasons, but can you expand on that? If I was purchasing, the reasons would be, well, one of the reasons I haven't said, one of the reasons would be to keep fit, because they're a good form, it's a good way of keeping fit, it's a good way of having fun and laughing on those dark winter nights when you can't go out. Um, it's um, the price is a big factor because I don't know how much it's going to cost yet. So depending on the price, but I mean, I would still invest in one without a doubt. Okay. Um, do you think Connect can succeed in offering solid entertainment for non-gamers? Most definitely. I was completely a non-gamer and I was completely not interested at all. Even when my friends were telling me about this brilliant new concept, however, seeing it for myself. And I've never played any Xbox games at all, ever. I think that this I could do, and I could do it and well, and we could have good fun doing it. Excellent. Okay, last question. Looking at gaming as a whole, from a non-gamer perspective, what generally puts you off um, the traditional kind of games? What puts me off the traditional kind of games is that you have to sit in front of television. You're not moving. and don't interact enough as it is within the family unit and these are just games kids can play on their own their parents aren't vetting them to see what they're playing and they're just not it's not good and you think that connect kind of breaks down that barrier and offers a new type of what type of uh, playing space for gamers and families yes i do i think it offers the chance for families to reconnect to interact with each other to have fun with each other and to get fit at the same time okay thank you very much for your time and i'm glad you enjoyed it and um, thank you. Thank you very much.